Alright, so do you have a Samsung phone and are you bored of the UI? Well, don't worry because Samsung relaunched GoodLock 2018 and now it is available for Android or your devices and now you can make your Samsung device look totally different, totally unique and it will be like a whole new UI. This was first released in 2016 for Marshmallow devices but Samsung discontinued it temporarily and now because people kept demanding for it, they brought it back in 2018 for Android or your devices and if you have a Samsung or your device, you might want to watch this video because it will literally make your phone a lot more interesting than it is right now. Let's begin. Okay, so first things first, I have a Galaxy A5 2017 with Android Oreo on it. And just to prove everything that this is not an S6 or an S7 or whatever, look at that, the back of the phone, there's no camera bump whatsoever. The S6 and the S7 both have a camera bump. So there you go, that proves that I have an A5. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is head down to Galaxy apps on your phone that you can find on any Samsung phone and just search for good luck. You should find an application that says good luck 2018 on Android or your devices or good luck 2016 if you have a Marshmallow device. However, if you can't find it on your Galaxy apps, there's a link in the description with the APK so you can go ahead and download and install the APK manually. So once you have good luck installed just go ahead and open it up and you will be greeted with different semi applications so once you download and install every single application that is given to you by good luck that will be how good luck is basically created it's created by different smaller applications put together so some of them are like lockstar as you can see task manager and routines and there's another one the last one which is called clock faces let me go ahead and install the last one there you go i installed the last one and yep so right off the bat, one thing, one change that I noticed is that I have the new task manager. This is not the regular Samsung task manager. If you know what I mean, this is, this is like the OnePlus or the Pixel or the iPhone X kind of design, as you can see, and you swipe up or swipe down to just clear an app and it's cool. It's a new design. I like it. So let me open up the first application. It's called Logstar. Just give it permission to your storage and turn it on. So the first thing that you can actually do is press the plus button right there and it'll allow you to choose a new arrangement, a new alignment, a new design for your lock screen. So I'm gonna settle with this one right there, that one right there, I think. Okay, I finally settled with one, and once I settle with one design, I'm gonna go ahead and choose any wallpaper that I want. Now keep in mind, you can have your custom wallpaper, you don't need these, but I just set a dark blue wallpaper. Now, you can also go and select what kind of clock face you want. And there are some nice clock faces that you can actually set. I settled with this one right here. And the final thing is you can change what shows up on your lock screen, like your music controller or your name, or you can change all those stuff. So once you have that set, you can just press the save button. And now you should have a new 2018 updated lock screen on your Samsung Galaxy phone. So take a look. There you go. Let me just focus the camera. Boom, I have the new design, the new arrangement, the new alignment, whatever you want to call it. It looks totally new and unique. So the next thing is called Quick Star and just go into the first thing that says coloring. And what you can do is just take a look at my notification panel right now. It's the basic Samsung white and blue notification panel, which, you know, it gets kind of boring after looking at it for a while. So I set it to one of the default presets. As you can see, it's like a purple and black design. You can settle with that, but I went ahead and designed my own notification panel. So you can choose whatever color you want for the logos or the icons. And you can also choose whatever color you want for the background. I can control the transparency of the background. So, and now you can also change the blur effect and take it into action. There you go, you can see the blur effect and you can see the transparency. And overall, just the combination of all these new elements onto the notification panel, it looks a lot better than it was. So now there's another option called simple indicator and over here you can actually choose which icons you want to hide or show on your notification panel and the last one that says notification multi window is just like a notification that it's like a quick access to multi window not really interesting and I want to talk about it too much. So the next thing is task manager and this is what we already saw in effect it already took immediate effect as you can see looks really cool. So one thing you can actually do is you can get this mini mode as you can see and it's easier for I guess one hand use and yeah but I like the bigger version of course and the other thing you can do is actually you can make sure that the application you're on is also centered 
So that's kind of cool. So one huge thing you can actually do is change the transition effect when going from one application to the other. And I kind of like this one, as you can see, it looks kind of nice. And yeah, so the next thing is called routines. Now I remember that there was an application similar to this, but you needed root for it a few years ago. And now it's kind of built in. It's basically like, let's say I'm, my phone is charging, then my always on display would be turned on. Let's say I'm at a certain location, then this certain task would be on. Let's say I'm connected to a certain Wi-Fi, then this certain thing would be done. So it's like an algorithm that you create. So if these conditions are met, do these certain tasks or whatever. It's kind of cool, but it's kind of boring at the same time. But anyways, the last thing is called clock faces. And over here, you can change the clock face on your always on display like I'm doing right now. So I'm going through all these different ones, but these, if you can't remember, were already available. But the ones that I'm just looking at right now, these ones, these are special. These are the ones that you get from Goodlock. And as you can see, they are a lot better. There's a lot better looking animations that happen. As you can see, that one's really cool. And there's like a speedometer. Look, that one's really cool too. And there's like a whole new set of always on display options that you can get. And I settled with this one and you can always change the color, but that's not really exciting. We already had that feature before. And the last thing is you can actually change the clock face of the lock screen clock as well. Not just the always on display. And I just saved to that one. So to wrap things up, let's take a look at all the changes that happen. So going into my lock screen, we have the new lock screen that we set with the new interface, the new design, the new clock face and all that stuff. Next, we have the new task manager. Quickly look at that. Boom. That looks really good. This is like my favorite feature of good lock. And the other thing that I'm actually wondering is what happened to that last clock face that we set? Well, if you go to lock star and actually go down and turn on the option that says use system clock and lock your phone and take a look, give it a second. Boom. There you go. That is the new clock face that the second clock face that we actually set. So you can actually choose between that one or the one that you get straight from lock star. Okay, so the last thing, of course, how can I forget the notification panel looks beautiful with the blur effects, look beautiful with the transparency effects, and it just has a nice color and it's no longer just the white and blue. So yeah, those were pretty much all the tweaks and the changes and the basically new UI features that you get on your Samsung device using one simple application called GoodLock 2018. This was available in 2016 and now is also back on 2018 or your devices. All right, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for making it all the way to the end. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and also turn on post notifications so that you will be notified when I release future content. And with that being said, this is Tech Alpha signing out with today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.